About two months ago, there was an odd junction in my life. Of both the time I was reminded of speedrunning, and the time I was playing Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride. So obviously, I speedran a Barbie game. You know, I like playing Barbie video games every once in a while because I grew up with Barbie and they can be fun. And it turns out that quite a few of these games actually have speedrun records over on speedrun.com. The world record for Mystery Ride is a speedy 12 minutes 23 seconds. I like short and snappy things, and if I was going to speedrun anything in this life, I didn't want it to take hours for each try. So if I wanted to try speedrun something, why not beat a record for a Barbie horse game? First, some context for what I was going up against. Playing the game normally will probably take you about an hour. If you skip all the cutscenes and other optional content, it will probably take you around 20 minutes. So if you were going to beat the current best time, you have to find ways to be 39% faster than just skipping cutscenes. I tried figuring some ways out. I tried glitching through a fence, but that would only work at a time that would make you slower. I tried turning the jump setting from auto to manual to see if jumping everywhere was faster, but it only allowed you to jump at actual jumps, so that was impossible. I realized I wasn't going to figure out most of the actual tricks on my own because half of my brain is made of concrete, so I analyzed everyone else's speedrun videos and figured out how it's done. There are a few tactics needed to play Mystery Ride to the max efficiency. The first is, obviously, skipping all cutscenes and sticking only to things that make you progress. The second is using the map to fast travel between locations, saving any time spent running when possible. The third is clicking everything as fast but accurately as you can. The most annoying part is that you need good luck, because this entire game is mostly just mini-games that involve some element of randomness. Things have to be aligned perfectly if you want to get the shortest time possible. Even if you do everything else perfectly, if a game has bad luck, you're not going to have a great time. Another part of speedrunning is skipping things when possible. Not exactly glitching past them, but just pressing the back button at the right time to stop either an animation or Barbie talking. I was able to successfully do that in certain areas, but couldn't figure out quite how the reigning champion Astix had done it elsewhere, no matter how many times I watched their video. But even if I couldn't do it all perfectly and get the top score, at the very least I felt I could beat 5th place. Surely that wouldn't be too hard, right? Well, it certainly wasn't easy. I wish I had kept track of how many times I tried to speedrun this game because it was a lot. I even took a break for a month because I just couldn't figure it out and wasn't making any progress. Then I started trying again recently and finally managed to get my score down to 15 minutes 30 seconds. Still not enough to beat the time I wanted, but far better than my original time. I wasn't going to give up, so I became a slave to the speedrun. Every day, every night, Barbie Horse Adventures filled my life. This was my Tokyo 2020 Olympics, and I was determined to be a gold medalist. It was time consuming, it was frustrating. Even with all my tactics in place, I'd have it ruined by bad luck in a minigame. Even just accidentally getting caught on the corner of a fence could add seconds that would destroy my chances of success. It felt like my times were just getting worse and worse by one point. Then one Monday afternoon, finally something different happened. I was playing through for probably the 20th time in a row that afternoon, and my luck had been decidedly average. But I was still hitting all of my time goals for each section, even if things weren't lined up perfectly. Then, miraculously, I noticed I was suddenly over 30 seconds ahead of schedule. There was a moment of intense joy, but then panic set in. What if I had forgotten to press record? What if the next puzzle had a horrible RNG? But I didn't give up until we reached the end. I stopped my timer. It said the most beautiful number I've ever seen. 14 minutes, 39 seconds. I checked my recording software. It had successfully recorded my success. I was officially the fifth best Barbie Horse Adventures Mystery Ride player in the world. And that feels pretty good to say, not gonna lie. You could say that even though I didn't place on the podium, I qualified. And that's good enough for now. One day I'll reach that coveted number one spot. I'm coming for you, Astix. I just need a long, long break first. I've herded far too many baby goats and arranged far too many flowers for the time being. 
and I have heard Barbie say, A scarf clip! Too many times for my ears to handle. And Teresa's horse has been stolen so many times that I think she should just invest in security instead of making me find it every time. Uh, yeah, this game has a plot about finding a stolen horse. It's hard to notice when all you do is run around and play minigames as fast as humanly possible. But come on, we all know that this Barbie game wasn't made for children to enjoy the story. It was made for adults to compete at and brag about it. Unfortunately, I don't think most people will be very impressed to hear that the one game I know all the tricks to is a 2003 Barbie video game no one has heard of. But at least I can be impressed by myself, right? I don't think I'll do more speedruns anytime soon because this actually caused me stress. Yes, Barbie caused me stress. But I'll be coming up with other types of game challenges to share with you guys. So if that sounds fun, subscribe and join me. The proof of my speedrun is linked in the description if you want to check that out. And I thank you for watching this tale of my speedrunning journey. I hope you all have a groovy day, and may your horses be speedy.